though, for a while. If Dad gets acquitted, it can all be over. But if he's convicted, I'm going to turn myself in and make a You can't. Case. I can't lose you. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure something out. cooped up in the house. And what about you? Well, that's kind of a really long story. Why don't I, hey, why don't I take you home? Sure. We'll talk about it when we get there. That sounds good. Okay, we've got seven guilty, four undecided, and one not guilty. Well, this rig will be here till Christmas. What's wrong with you people? This guy's guilty. Guilty of sin, if you ask me. Well, I have my doubts. Really? Would you like to tell us about him? Oh. Quiet, come well, on. You're supposed oh. to be the foreman, not the judge. Well, you know what? The jury is just as important as any judge. The jury is the cornerstone of any democracy. It's our job. In fact, I am proud to do this job where we are going to deliver a fair verdict no matter how long oh, okay, it takes. Okay, okay, okay. Not another lecture, please. Lisa, would you like to begin? Thank you. So, the state did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Sonny Corinthos murdered his wife. And the only eyewitness swears that it was self-defense. Now, you all heard the testimony. And I'm certain that Carly Jacks and her baby would both be dead if Sonny hadn't stopped Claudia. And I'm not going to send him to prison for it. Well, what about Michael Corinthos? He saw it. That was never introduced in court. She's right. Well, Sonny Corinthos doesn't want his kid to talk. That's why he's hiding him on some island. We saw the surveillance photo. I got that right here. Here's the picture. You think that prosecutor wouldn't change a timestamp? You saw what she did to poor Morgan. Can we be real just for one second? Sonny Corinthos is a professional criminal. This case will not go beyond a reasonable doubt. Then, as they say in Houston, we have a problem. So you're absolutely sure that Michael killed Claudia? He gave me a shirt with her blood and his DNA on it. I give it to forensics. They're holding on to it as John Doe evidence for now. Okay. But as soon as you notify the court, Sonny walks. There's no way that's a good idea. Oh, man. I mean, I, I helped clean up that cabin. If I'd known I was destroying evidence, uh, I could Come on. Look at, it, look at all the crimes that Sonny's committed over the years. Is it really so bad? For him to pay for one that he didn't do, especially if that's what he wants? She has a point. This is something that Dante said already. Look, let's think about Michael. I mean, wouldn't it be better for him if he dealt with suspended sentence, community service, as opposed to having an ongoing cover-up his whole life? And there's a good chance Wouldn't it be better for Michael and the rest of Sonny's kids if Sonny went to prison? It's your call, man. Do you want to keep quiet and... Let your father go to prison when you know he's innocent of this particular crime. Or do you want to tell the truth and turn your brother in? Turn in my phone call. Which is why I'm here, to give you an update. Has she seen Michael? No. Why are you asking okay, me I that? need him to stay put until the jury comes back with a verdict. Is she doing better? Define better. She's still blaming herself for everything. That's abuse. So she's been having some sessions with Dr. Winters, and at some point we may be asked to sit in. I'd love to, but I, you know, I may not be available. Diane told me that it was touch and go at the trial. You just need to sit Christina down and just let her know that her dad. There's a good possibility that he's going to prison. Oh, great, because there's a good possibility her mom may be going there, too. Hit and run, I thought that was taken care taken of. Ca taken care of? I killed an 18-year-old kid. It doesn't just get taken care of. So I'm either going to end up in jail or I'm going to book a room in Shady Brook. Did Mac charge you for leaving the scene? Yes, he did. But 
Warren Bauer is intent on seeing that I get the maximum sentence, which is seven years, and he has the pull to make that happen. That's not going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen, which is why we need to talk about and make some decisions about what's going to happen. Look, okay, is the main problem in this whole situation There's a Kiefer's lot of problems, father? but yes, Kiefer's father is determined to get what he wants. Well, we shut him up permanently. It's not a big deal. Proud of you for getting out on your own. I think the sooner you can get your life back to normal, the better. Mm, I don't even know what normal is anymore. <laughs> well, what's it used to be? All A's, volunteer work, high test scores. That's one thing Kiefer and I had in common. He understood how much I had to study, and I understood how much he had to get in Harvard. And how much that party meant to him. Hey, don't turn this into a way to blame yourself for I'm... Kiefer beating you up. Okay, I'm just saying that Kiefer was under a lot of pressure. He had to be perfect. And Kiefer's parents didn't like me because of my dad, but he went out with me anyways because he loved me. Oh, yeah, well, guess what? He didn't, he didn't love you enough to not hit you. Can we talk about something else? Okay. All right, I'm sorry. Look, I, I actually wanted to give you the heads up on something anyway. About <clears throat> what? Well, um, Dante found Michael, and he brought him back to poor Charles. Is Michael okay? Have you seen him? Uh, no, I mean, he has him stashed someplace, but Jason and I are looking for him, and we have to get him out of the country, so if you happen to see him or hear from him, you need to let one of us know. Sure, absolutely. Okay, well, I just need to <clears throat> stop by Crimson, get some clothes, and then I am off to Milan. Wait, you're, you're gonna go to Europe without stopping by your apartment? <laughs> yes. No. Why would you ask me that question? Everyone knows that I keep a bag at Crimson, just in case. Is, is there a reason you don't want to go home? It's really... Don't ask me any more questions. Mm. Wait, is there something that you're trying not to tell me? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, you're manifesting all the signs. So I just can't stay here! Mm -mm. Maybe, maybe the best choice is to sign off the case. Due to conflict of interest, let me find Michael. I actually like that idea. Look, he's a good cop. He, he'll be objective. He's known Michael all his life. He'll be compassionate, too. Okay, you guys have a point, but I may hate it, but Sonny's my father. Michael's my brother. I gotta do this. Are you ready to send Sonny to prison for something you know he didn't do? I mean, never mind the, the personal ethics of it, but you could lose your badge over this. You know that. Yeah, you know what? I should have never gone to get Michael. <laughs> that was a mistake. I mean, every instinct I have was screaming at me not to get on that plane. You want me to help you find him? No. It's okay. I mean, this is on me. I'll take care of it. All right. For what it's worth, I think you need to just take some time to sort this out, because whatever you decide, you're going to have to live with it for the rest of your life.